<clears throat> What's up, my dudes? Uh, tall garage here is I. I am under the car, uh, taking a nap because we don't have a lift. Oh well, uh, we're gonna take a look at the fuel system on my brother's uh, turbocharged Windsor project, right? Uh, we'll show you what we did with the fuel system now that's all done. And, uh, you know, maybe give you some ideas on how you can do yours. So let's check it out. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can do this, okay? So, uh, to start off, we have two Bosch 044 pumps. I'm pretty sure one of these is fake, which is why, you know, I got it so cheap. That one might be real, but I got it cheap too, so it doesn't matter. But these are feeding the engine. Uh, so, let's start over here. All right, so this is stock tank. Stock tank. Uh, we welded in the sump. You guys seen that. The pumps were being fed by two 6AN uh, lines that go to two filters. I want to say these are 100 micron. So then that goes to the pumps. And then those merge into this... I think it's pretty trick. It's like a fuel pump a manifold uh, for these pumps. So, like I said, it's 6 a.m. going in, and then we have one 8 a.m. line going up to another filter up there. See it up there? And that one's 10 micron. And then we have the return coming back going to the bottom of the sump. So, I suppose we can take a look up at the firewall the regulator and stuff, but it's really not that, you know, special. But we'll take a look at it real quick. All right, so we have the feed line coming from that 10 micron filter up to the regulator, and then it returns through the bottom uh, through this content sensor so we're going to be running E85, so that tells us how much alcohol we have in the fuel. Back to the tank. This is a deadhead system, so there's only an inlet on the fuel rail. There's not a return. So they call it deadhead when you got to do it like this. Normally, your return would be on the fuel rail going back to the tank. But in this case, like I said, we have it coming out of the rig. I would like to change that in the future. Uh, apparently, there is an early Magnum engine i want to say it's like probably like 93 or 94 or something like that that has a return style fuel rail i like to pick one of them up at some point or i could just have a and fittings welded to the end of the steel rail so that's also one way to do it but other than that i'm really happy uh, them two pumps are way overkill that's way more fuel than we'll ever need probably on this um so everything all the parts came uh came from ebay and we haven't had any problems with them besides i guess that uh, fuel pump manifold, the crush washers, they came with aluminum crush washers, and uh, some of them just wouldn't crush. So we had leaks, so we changed them out with copper ones, and we were good to go. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on uh, your own fuel rail system, or your own fuel system, if you're going to go EFI, you know, uh, hit up the comments, and I'll uh, give you all the best advice I can. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.